Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and you're looking at Sirius B, a white dwarf that's the closest white dwarf known to us that is in a system by the name of Sirius. Today we're actually going to take a look at the future of our own sun and try to recreate it using Space Engine to see what it actually would look like to us on Earth when one day our sun also becomes a white dwarf just like Sirius. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So one thing that Space Engine is amazingly good at is recreating the visual effects of what it might look like on certain planets, certain asteroids, moons, and specifically solar stellar systems out there that have objects that are interesting to us, including of course black holes. Now in this case, we're actually are going to be looking at our own sun, but in the future. It's kind of difficult for us to imagine what a white dwarf might look like and what it actually does have on its surface, but this is what it looks like in Space Engine. But most importantly, it's actually kind of like looking into the future of our own sun because we know that it's going to turn into white dwarf as well one day. So in this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to our own solar system first, and then we're going to essentially change our sun. We're going to change it into what it will look like in about 5 billion years from now when it goes through its um, red giant stage, absorbs a few planets within the inner solar system, and then essentially returns back as a white dwarf. Now this star right here is Sirius, and if you kind of pan your view a little bit this way, this very very insignificant looking star right here is our sun. The, next to it, you, you'll see something that looks very similar. That's actually Alpha Centauri. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and go into our own system. And we're going to go to our sun and basically uh, play around with a few values and a few settings in Space Engine that you can also try yourself using your own Space Engine. So uh, let's approach the actual star a little bit closer. We're going to click on it, and now if you press Shift and F2, you'll bring up this very cool editor. Okay, first of all, we need to change the type of the star. Right now, our sun is a G type star, G2 specifically, and that's basically it's a representative of the kind of a light it emits. A white dwarf is known as a D type star, but there's a lot of different D types, specifically uh, depending on what they actually have on their surface and what kind of a light they emit. We're going to assume that our sun is going to maybe just maybe become like a carbon or something uh, white dwarf. So that's a GQ type. If you change it right away, it actually changes the look of the star. And now you can actually maybe even accelerate time just to see what it looks like as the material circulates within this beautiful white dwarf. We also need to change the size of the star. As a white dwarf, our sun is going to be about the size of our planet Earth. So we need to first change the mass a little bit, but also change the radius. Um, when it becomes a white dwarf, it actually is going to be approximately uh, well, just over a half of the mass it is right now. So about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 masses of the sun. Now I can't really get to 0 0.5, so I'm going to stay at 0 0.7, so about 70% the mass. And the radius here is going to decrease to approximately this big. So this is just a little bit bigger than Earth. Now, we're gonna just keep this as it is right now. We also ha actually have to change the temperature because it is going to be get a little bit hotter, but its brightness is going to decrease. It's going to be a lot less bright than it is now. And so we're going to decrease the brightness. And so here is the sun um, as a white dwarf. And let's actually, let's see what it might look like from Earth. Let's go to Earth and take a look at uh, what the planet looks like now. So first of all, as you can see, the light here is actually a little bit different. It's, it's now um, is illuminated by this very unusual blue light. And that's actually because the white dwarf is a lot hotter than our sun. It's actually producing white blue light that's making our planet a little bit different in color. 
but I actually just realized I think the brightness here is still a little bit too high. We need to decrease it even further. So we're going to go ahead and basically change it to like barely even 15% of what it used to be. And also change the luminosity. And there we go. Now we're talking. So now you can kind of see what this might all look like. Now, don't forget, the Earth will obviously not look the same anymore. Mostly because all of the continents will probably have moved somewhere else. And in a lot of these um, simulations, it's kind of impossible to recreate that. But we're going to assume that Earth does not look the same. And since the Earth has probably just survived the red giant stage of our sun, it will probably have a lot of atmosphere missing. The atmosphere will probably have been burned by a dramatically super hot atmosphere of uh, the sun that is going to be right next to it when it is a red giant. Now, if you actually want to check out what a red giant stage looks like, I made a video about this a few months ago, and you can definitely check that out as well. But as a white dwarf, this is kind of what it might look like. So it is still pretty bright, and it's, it is still very, very shiny. But obviously, it does not create as much heat or warmth on the surface of our planet. As a matter of fact, our planet will very likely not really have... Uh, as much temperature anymore. It will probably be very, very cold and all of the things here will probably freeze, mostly because this is now going to be a very, very cold planet. So let's actually maybe land on the surface of our planet and just see what the skies will look like and you'll notice that it hasn't really changed that much. Now, there's things that are different, of course. First of all, even in bright light, you can see stars. You can actually see stars mostly because the sun is not as bright as it used to be. On the other hand, uh, the skies are a lot more blue than they used to be. And this is, of course, because of the atmosphere. Now, we're still assuming that there is atmosphere. If, however, Earth has no atmosphere, which we can totally do by editing Earth now, we can go in here and essentially almost completely remove the atmosphere, making it look a little bit different. So this might actually be a little bit more realistic of what we'll be seeing in about 5 billion years from now when we look into the skies above our planet Earth. I'm going to actually zoom out a little bit just so you can see this in a little bit more wide eye perspective. And let's actually roll this um, faster just so you can see what the night sky might look like. Now ignore the green part because that's just the grass that still is there. It's very likely that the life on planet Earth might not exist anymore. And as a matter of fact, it's very likely that uh, if there is life, it's going to be much more extreme than it is today. Anyway, let's escape Earth. Uh, let's maybe take a look at some of the other objects in our solar system. But that is what Earth appears as, with Sun as the white dwarf. And if you were curious what Mars might look like, and by the way, Mars might actually be a pretty interesting place to visit uh, when the Sun is in its red giant stage this is what mars looks like now it's no longer a red planet as a matter of fact it seems to be more of a browny bluish planet mostly because the light produced by the sun is a lot different now and when if you land on mars this is what it kind of looks like here so the night sky on mars actually looks just as interesting and different as it does on the new earth so all in all, this is actually a very interesting scenario to kind of consider because in about 5 billion years, these planets will still be around probably, unless they get kicked out for some unknown reason, and their night sky is going to be transformed dramatically. But what's more, even more interesting is that even the daytime sky is going to be transformed because the brightness here will be a lot lower, so this star is just not going to produce enough light to eliminate all of the other stars appearing in the sky. And so it will actually look very similar to what you see on the screen right now. There is the sun as a white dwarf, and there is the Milky Way and the rest of the stars. And so this by itself kind of makes you wonder what will actually happen to all of these planets in terms of uh, climate and whether these planets will become more habitable, less habitable, or disappear completely. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to give you an idea of how to change your star into a white dwarf, but also give you an idea of what Earth will probably look like, or I guess what Sun will look like from Earth when it becomes a white dwarf. 
Thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out and as always, bye bye.